Hey everybody, it's Fifth and Fire Science here. I hope everybody's well. Aries, we're doing your redo reading. The one I did for you guys earlier this month was just crazy specific, and I try not to do crazy specific. So, if it resonates, cool. If not, check your Moon, Rising, or Venus reading. Time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. If you're a cross watcher, come on in. Let's hang out. Might play out from your perspective as well. Anybody can hit the like button at any time. And if this is your first time here and you think you might want to come back, hang out some more, you can hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. All right. Okay. Let's get them down for Aries. Tip it down. Sorry, the table's a little cluttered. I started doing some massive cleaning last night, so. My sugar boat out of the way, hey? What is all over my table? Anybody else feel like you gotta make a bigger mess when you start cleaning? That's, that's just totally me. All right. Okay. A couple more good shuffles. swords. <sighs> okay. Well. I'm just throwing down the cards. I'm not going to say another word. <sighs> Ten of Cups reversed at the bottom of the deck. Well, well, well. All right. Looks like a painful cycle is finally coming to an end. I feel like the challenge is stopping a chariot. Could be lack of forward movement, could be lack of distance. I don't know. One on that. Combative energy, walls could be up. We're more on that. Ten of Swords. You're walling yourself up from something. Your guard is up, you're on the defensive. You may be having trouble putting distance somewhere. All right. One of the Six of Pentacles for what's coming in. Balance and communication. High Priestess, there could still be secrets. Things being held back. One on Temperance. Wow.
energy's improving, things will be flowing. Money's looking good. One of the Nine of Pentacles. What's up with that? There you are, Aries. Emperor and the Three of Pentacles. Maintaining control of a situation. The Emperor's just all around. He's all the kings rolled into one. He makes wise choices. Has a handle on his emotions. He's good looking, combative when he needs to be. this three of cups okay oh, that's friendship Maintaining singularity, just being friends. Why is it all happening? It's three of wands. I feel like a relationship here is evolving. There could have been backstabbing and betrayal involved somehow, but I feel like a relationship is evolving. swords. Three of wands. Logical, non-emotional decisions. Okay. Got a handle on something emotionally. I took a logical look at it. Made a logical choice. Took the best option. Okay, why the Queen of Pentacles reversed? Somebody may have been a little bit needy and codependent. A little bit high maintenance, possibly. Maybe someone had to take a course. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe it's not too many. Things had to change. Someone was being childish. Perhaps someone was being a little bit childish. Things needed to change.
why the high priest is reversed. Gosh, that feels like eggshells. I feel like the Seraphim tells two different stories. Secrets may have been revealed. Mm, need one of this King of Wands. Something came to an end. Something that could have bro brought down a family situation came to an end. Lesson learned. I'm hearing lesson learned. Y'all just deciding to stay friends. Gosh, this is a weird reading. Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck. <coughs> positive energy and an understanding possibly someone will be needing to state the one more on this what's this knight of swords state position Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of stating position, stating position, stating position, standing up. This is how it's got to be. Honest communication. I feel a connection with you, but we just got to be friends. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, maintaining your distance. Okay. Why the four cups is the outcome? Oddly enough, this is a very similar story, but we're going with it anyway. Eight of Swords reversed. I see some of you coming out of a state of what if I'd have taken the cup? Coming out of anxiety about it. Six of Pentacles. Justice reversed. Why justice reversed? Queen of Pentacles. King and the Queen of Pentacles both showed up. This is a marriage situation. Oh boy. Okay. You know, I try not to let it be specific and then it just goes and be specific. One on the Ace of Wands. Oh, 
Sorry, give me two seconds. Sorry about that. One on this Ace of Wands. Ace of Cups. Three of Wands, strength holding back. Okay. Once again, weirdly and oddly specific, I'll probably post this one as a conclusion to the first one and then do another one. Okay, fine. That's what I gotta do, that's what I gotta do. So whoever had the tumultuous soap opera overbreeding, pardon my terminology, that's just what it was, guys. I see it coming together. I see things being okay. I see reunion. That's amazing. Okay. So what potentially could have been the breakdown of a family situation, this, the cycle's coming to an end. Very awesome. Okay, let's get a moonology. Nice. Have faith in your dreams. Expect powerful change. Give me a wisdom. Soulmates. Okay. Waxing Crescent Moon. Don't give up. The situation you're asking about is still taking shape. You're nowhere near the end of the story. Whatever is happening now is just a step along the way. As they say in the self-help classics, everything will be okay in the end. If it's not okay, it's not the end. However, the Waxing Crescent Moon card is a reminder that you must still keep working towards whatever it is that you want. If you can't take practical steps, spend time meditating on the question you're asking about, and allow your higher self to download information to you about your best next step. Overall, this card suggests that there is every reason to be hopeful for a very positive outcome to the situation you're asking about, so keep the faith. Nice. I like it. New Moon Eclipse. Hmm. Sorry, this is gonna, it takes me a minute to navigate this. I don't know it so well yet. New moon eclipse. If you want affirmation that you can achieve your dreams and get the desired outcome in the situation you're asking about, then this is it. This is a card of beginnings, and there are powerful energies at work, but be prepared. It could be quite a ride, and events now could even be jarring and uncomfortable. However, any new directions you take will almost always lead somewhere better than where you are at the moment. Whatever is happening now is happening for a reason you'll appreciate later on. A new portal is opening up, and all you have to do is have courage to forget about the past and move through it. 
you're being put back on the right path, there is nothing to fear. Hmm. Relatable. Okay, that's not the book. Wisdom Oracle. <laughs> I go to grab the deck of cards. Okay, number 41. Four plus one is five. Five is change. Number 41. You're meant to evolve and transform with the companionship of others. Certain people enter into your life in order to take you to the next level of healing, consciousness, and authenticity. It is always a reciprocal experience, although the results for each of you may vary. You will know these people by the strong pull drawing you toward them, and sometimes by the strong aversion to them initially, too. Soulmates can be friends for life, or remain in your life only for a short time. No matter what, you'll be changed in ways you can't possibly fathom now. Pay attention to these people. They are your greatest gifts. Okay, guys. This has been your bonus. Might do another one. Try not to be so specific. Know that you're loved. Be blessed. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace, love, and light.